Hello everyone, I'm visiting my parents today and we're making vegan and raw vegan burritos. So the first step is making our spread sauce deliciousness in a blender. You will need half a cup of cashews, one clove of garlic, the juice of half a lemon or lime, some chipotle powder or any other chili powder, and I also use all-purpose seasoning, but you can also substitute it with nutritional yeast. You blend that all really, really well and then put it in a little bowl. And as you can see, it's creamy and tastes delicious. Now you're gonna take your tortillas. I'm showing you three examples of tortillas. The first one is a simple wheat tortilla, but please note that this does have canola oil in it. Then it's another wheat tortilla with no oil, and it also has some chia seeds, which are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. And then finally, this raw tortilla made out of veggies and nuts and seeds. So I'm gonna choose the white tortilla with chia seeds. You put it on a plate, and then you just start spreading your sauce everywhere. Really, really good. And now we're gonna put our fillings. So you're gonna add some beans, quinoa, bell peppers, pico de gallo, which is basically tomato, cilantro, onion, serrano pepper, and juice of a lime, fresh avocado, and delicious, beautifully colorful purple cabbage, marinated in lime juice. And now you just fold up your burrito. Oh my goodness, you guys, this looks so good. So, so, so good. You cut it in half so you can see everything inside of it. And then just put a little more garnish on the side. Now you have your vegan burrito. Yum! For the raw version, you're going to use green collard leaves without the stem. And the same, you're gonna put all of your spread everywhere. For the filling, you will need zucchini, some diced portobellos previously marinated in soy sauce or tamari and lime, bell peppers, any color that you want, carrots, shredded carrots, some pico de gallo, and finally, some garnish, which is purple cabbage marinated in lemon. You have your raw burrito and all you do is wrap it up. Oh my gosh, this looks so, so, so good. And then you have it just ready to eat. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like it if you liked it. I've been loving, loving, loving all of your comments on the vlogs that I've been uploading and always here on my recipe videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you all so much. Send you guys a fruity hug and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.